So today we're going to be talking about fragrances from the house of Lalique. And I, for one, only have maybe one, possibly two fragrances. I believe I only have one fragrance from the house of Lalique. And that is the... Um, no, actually I have two. I have Ancre Noir and I have Lalique um, Pour Om, the Lion Head version. But anything beyond that, I have no idea about. And a subscriber of mine was generous enough to send me some carded samples that he got from a shop over in London, which is where he lives, London, England, I'm assuming. And he missed one, so he decided to go ahead and ship, which was kind. And when I come back, we'll talk about him. All right, so I'm glad you all chose to stick around. Now, back to business. First off, shout out to everybody who has been a firm, strong supporter of mine through all the things that's been going on with this channel, all the changes, all the ups, all the downs. There are a lot of people who have stuck around who have been here from day one. Thank you, I salute you, I appreciate you all. And we are closing in on the 5K mark. So, if you are not a subscriber to this channel, please make sure you do that by hitting that red subscribe button, ring the bell icon for notifications, like the videos, share the videos, and be active in the comment section. And if you think it's gonna cost you something once again, no, it does not cost you anything to subscribe to this channel just your time and attention that's all it costs so with that being said shout out to mr martin hopefully over in england and he reached out to me one day and i believe he heard me say or mention that i had not gotten my nose on a lot of fragrances from lalique and the only two that I knowingly have is Ancre Noir, in which I love, and I have Lalique Pour Om, the Lion Head version. I think those are the only two Lalique fragrances I've had. Now, I've seen people talk about, what is it, um, Lalique uh, Black and White, White and Black, I think it is, or something like that, which is a pretty good fragrance. I smelled it. Um, I actually like it. Let me get to this beat up, um, <coughs> excuse me, letter that came with it. Um, I mistakenly ripped this while I was trying to rip open the package and I had to just now tape it back together so I can read it to you. So I'm going to butcher these names. Uh, they are foreign names and I'm sorry if they see this video. Um, he says that they work at a Lalique boutique in Burlington Arcade. Um, they were so kind to give him some samples. Uh, I think he said there were 13 in here. Um, you also can go to www.lalique.com and I can check out the bottles to see what they look like. But the people I need to shout out are Vlatko, Sirapun, Artur, Artur Tours, and Bozina, who, like I said, works at the Burlington Arcade Lalique Boutique in London. So shout out to those people. Um, y'all need to go to www.lalique.com and check out the website. Um, also shout out once again to Martin Hopley. Um, I'm not going to go into reading all the personal stuff that's in here, but, um, Martin was so kind enough to send me, like I said, this bag of goodies. 
So I'm going to pour these out here and this video may be a little lengthy. So if you're not into long drawn out videos, then this may not be the one for you. But to jump start it, um, not only did he send some Lalique fragrance samples, he sent some Bentley ones that I've never gotten my nose on. And we're going to start with those. So the first one I want to start with is Bentley Beyond the Collection. Radiant Osmanthos Kyoto Eau de Parfum. And I apologize if that has a glare, but never got my nose on this one. And it's a fruity floral. So I'm assuming this actually is a woman's fragrance because of how this looks if you can see it it's like some purplish juice or lavender colored juice and it says the notes are top notes neroli italian mandarin and lemon heart notes osmanthus wild jasmine uh syringa and peach base notes cedar and white amber sandalwood and musk so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a spray and you're gonna have to hold on a second I apologize for any noise or distortion I forgot to get my To grab my tester strips so I'm just going to use pieces of this TP so Bentley Bentley beyond the collection radiant Osmanthus Kyoto is the first one I'm gonna spray here yeah this is definitely more for a woman And I got it on my finger and I just wiped my nose. So that actually smells pretty good. You do get that bright bergamot that's in here. Um, or not bergamot. Was it bergamot? Uh, no, the uh, neroli and the mandarin and a little of that lemon. I got more on my hand than I got on this tissue. It's definitely a bright fragrance, clean. This to me leans a little more feminine than anything, but I like it. I definitely wear that one. I'm a little on that side who, um, if something doesn't lean too feminine, I'll definitely give it a wearing. So I'm a little impressed by this one. I like that. Okay. Radiant Osmanthus by Bentley. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about Silver Lake by Bentley for men. And this one got a little bit of hype not too long ago. And I apologize if y'all see my dirty nails. I got off from work, man, and I just crashed on the bed. I was tired. We've been working. Um, 10 hour shifts for the past two weeks now this last week was supposed to be the last week for that and they stretched it out another week so um hopefully this is the last week of it and i can go back to coming in at uh seven instead of getting up at four o'clock in the morning that sucks but uh silver lake bentley for men now i am very familiar with a few of these I do have Bentley for Men Intense, I have Azure, and I have 
another one. What is it? Uh, Bentley for Men Black Edition from this particular line. So Silver Lake is really one I wanted to get my nose on. So this is a woody aromatic. It has lemon oil, uh, mint, lavender, pink pepper oil, violet leaves, absolute, and brox. The, the reason why I'm hesitating is because there are some words, uh, I'm assuming these are like some foreign words or something they got on here, but anyway, let's give this a, a smell and make sure I get it on the tissue this time and not all over my hand. That's not bad. It's definitely to me not one that I'm going to say you should run out and get. This is not a groundbreaking fragrance to my nose anyway. There are some people out there who did like this. I like it. I definitely want to add it to the collection. It's not a must have though. It does have a little bit of a familiarity to it. I'm not sure if this is a clone of something or it smells bad. It smells pretty good. It's a, a little crisp, fresh. I like it. It's not the best, but I like it. Okay. Moving right along. Let's get into some Lalique. Oh, wait. We have one more Bentley, I see. Okay, yeah, we got one more Bentley. So here we have Bentley Beyond the Collection again. This is Majestic Cashmere Goa. And both of those, both of the, uh, all three of these Bentleys were Eau de Parfum concentration. So this is majestic cashmere this one has notes of ambrette absolute incense and coriander orris absolute cashmere woods tonka bean uh vetiver bourbon orconox labdanum uh resinoid musk and patchouli and i like this bottle it's similar to the first one i showed you but the juice color in this one is a little bit more my style. So let's give this one a smell. See what we got here. Okay. Definitely a fragrance that should be worn in cold or cool weather. You definitely pick up on that um, cashmere woods, um, that vetiver bourbon, because this is a little boozy. I like this one. I actually like this one better than I like the, the other two that I showed you from Bentley. Definitely more of a mature style fragrance not as playful like i said cold or cool weather i like that i like that one a lot definitely an a in my book all right moving right along let's get into lalique so this one is kind of hard to see because it's in white Blue Rise by Lalique is the next one up. And I like that juice color. And I actually had a bottle 
like this before of something, but it wasn't a Lalique fragrance, I don't believe. But I'm not even going to attempt to read what this says because it is definitely hard to read with this white on white like this. But I'm just going to go ahead and give it a spray. Ooh, okay. Okay. Did not expect that. Yes, yes, okay. I definitely, this is one I need to get my, my hands on, a bottle of, if it's not expensive. Um, it's blue, but it's not blue like you would expect, Blue de Chanel or Sauvage or, you know, any of those other blue fragrances that are out there. It's not like that. This is more crisp, fresh, refreshing definitely will wake you up early in the morning and this might be my scent of the day for tomorrow wow i wish i knew what the notes were on this one but you all can go on www.laleek.com and check these out i'll try my best uh to leave the link in the description um and I'll definitely type in all of these fragrances so you'll know what to look for. That's nice. Blue Rise by Lalique. Wow, okay. I see why um, Mr. Hopley is in love with the house of Lalique. All right, next up. Let me go ahead and get this one out the way. Um, Perlez de la Lique. And I'm not sure if this is a woman's fragrance or a men's fragrance, but he sent it to me. So if any of you are familiar with these fragrances, dang, that's bright. Let me know in the comment section. That is hard. Oh, there we go. All right. So this is what the bottle looks like if i can get it to focus all right let's give this a spray this one is definitely different this is not your typical fragrance and it's kind of if my girlfriend was here she would tell you this probably smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. I actually like this one though not as much as I like the last one but this is definitely different this is not your typical fragrance and that's what I'm leaning more towards these days I'm not trying to get your keep buying the same old same old the fragrances that smell like creed or i mean aventus or the blue de chanel's and the sauvages and the ysl's i want something different in my collection that's nice i like that okay i need to find out more information on this one also perles de la Lique, and i know i'm butchering these names but <clears throat> I'm not perfect, so once again, if I can get it, there it is. Moving along, this one looks classy. Ombre Noir Eau de Parfum by Lalique, and that bottle is crazy good looking. Show you what the bottle looks like inside the car here. That's nice. I like that. This one I got high expectations for because this one looks like a classy, gentlemanly type fragrance. Something that should be worn dressed. Whoa. Yes. 
yes this has it smells like it has peppermint in this I don't see a note breakdown a pot a potent accord from the Orient blended with gourmand and spicy notes ombre noir is the intense sensuous trail of charismatic of a charismatic man I don't see a, a note breakdown on here <clears throat> but and I'm just saying I, I don't I'm not sure if that's peppermint but it kind of gives off a peppermint kind of vibe that's nice this one I can see being worn in the cooler months when you got on your long sleeve or your turtleneck or you got on some kind of nice Bill Cosby type sweater kind of casual dressy a little bit yeah I like that one so far I'm impressed with Lalique wow I definitely did not expect this and if I can get my hands on some of these I'm definitely gonna do so so this is ombre noir that's nice um, this one is glorious indigo and it's kind of hard it's reflective my ring light is killing me it's kind of hard to see but another one of the bottles like the first one but the juice color is blue again so I'm kind of expecting this one to be maybe a aquatic kind of see this one kind of smells oody a little bit what I'm picking up there has to be oud in this and once again I'm not seeing any notes but This smells good. Definitely one I want to get my no my hands on. It does kind of have an oody kind of vibe to it, which I'm a big fan of oud, even the skanky oud now. Um, my nose has matured a lot since my early days, and I hated oud, and now I love it. So, all right, this is one I wanted to get my nose on. This is one I see a lot of people talk about. Um, if it's not Ancre Noir, then it is Ancre Noir um, a la Extreme, which is this one. And I've always wanted to get my nose on this one, so now I can see exactly what all the hype is about. Definitely still has that original Ancre Noir DNA, that he that heavy vetiver. A lot of people lean more towards this one than the original. I actually like the original a lot. I'm gonna have to spend a little more time with this one, um, but I do like it so far. Um, I guess on the dry down, and it change if it changes uh, to be a little more different than the original, then I may think about trying to get a bottle of this. But as of right now, um, being that I have the original and that's what I'm smelling off top, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, we have uh, 1989 Elegance Animal. Noir Premier Eau de Parfum and that bottle wow 
I know this is all kind of hard to see with this ring light glaring like it is. I apologize, but I'm doing the best I can here. Let's see. Definitely another fragrance that smells like it's different. It does give me a animalic vibe. Uh, somebody once said that what does animalic mean? They didn't understand why people keep saying that. But that actually is what this note or this scent is described as in fragrance. So it's animalic. Kind of like barnyardy, oody a little bit smelling. I like that one. That's different also. That's another one I need to need to look into. I like different. I don't like the run of the mill fragrances. I mean, I do, but I don't. I'm not the one that likes to be on that same hamster wheel running with everybody else. I like to be off on my own doing my own thing. And right now, some of these fragrances from Lalique are very impressive to me. So uh, this one is Illusion Captive 1898. And it's the same style bottle. It just looks a little bit different. So let's give this one a try. Right, that has the scent on it. So let's see. Y'all, I got to invest in some coffee beans because smelling all this stuff. Oh, that's nice. Kinda to me leans feminine, but I'd wear this. This fragrance, that's one that um, I also feel that needs to be dressed up. Yeah, not an everyday wear, not to me, but it's good, I like it, okay. Coming into the home stretch, we got five left. I got uh, four carded samples, and then I got one more carded sample that he sent later. Uh, let's see. We're going to go with... I'm not going to do Encre Noir because I already have that, and Encre Noir is one that a lot of people know about. So let's do... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. I'm just going to show it to you. Whatever that is. Um, I've seen this bottle online before. So let's give this one a smell. Okay. I'm still a little bit stuffy, but I am able to smell these pretty good. <laughs> okay. I like that. I will say this though. There's something in this. It kind of gives off like an earwaxy kind of vibe a little bit. And I know some people are going to say, yeah, that's gross, but I know most of you have smelled earwax before. I like the scent profile of it, though. It smells pretty good. I like that. Okay. It's not bad. It's not. I don't see it as highly as I see some of the other ones that I've smelled, but that's definitely because it's different is why I'm liking it. All right, so we have Plum or Plume Blanche 1901 Noir Premier. And it's the same style bottle as the last couple. This video is long, going on 30 minutes. All right. This one also seems to lean a little feminine. It looks like it has some florals, being that I see flowers around the bottle. 
leans feminine, but it's nice. I like that. Maybe something that can be worn spring. Um, it's not bad. That That's probably a little bit too feminine to me, but it's not bad. It smells pretty decent. All right. Uh, fruits do movement. And it's the same style bottle, just different coloration. And I'm a little excited about this one because I love fruity and sweet smelling fragrances. So let's see. Yeah, that's right up my alley. It kind of puts me in the mind frame of, let's see. I want to say gold incense or from Mancera or something else I had from Mancera that I think this smells like. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of gives off the gold incense vibe, kind of, but with some sweetness to it. That's not bad. It does kind of remind me of a Mancera. I just can't put my finger on it. That's nice. Yeah, I like that one. That's nice. Thumbs up on that. Now, the last one that he sent. Okay, so. The one I mentioned, La Lique White in Black, Eau de Parfum. And I've seen this bottle before, but the white, the white one, I've never gotten my nose on it. And this one, I've seen a few reviewers talk about, and let me get my nose on. Now, I've already smelled this when I first got it, and I like it. So, and I think my girl did too. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, it's not groundbreaking. It kind of puts me in the mind frame of a more sophisticated version of maybe what's the name of that fragrance? Uh, the Lacoste Blanche L1212 or something like that, but not as sharp and citrusy more sophisticated I like it and I'm actually wrong about that one scratch what I just said about that uh, Lacoste it's different this is nice this is a little more I don't know maybe vanilla vanilla smelling that's nice though I like it so those are the Lalique fragrances from Mr. Uh, Martin Hopley. Um, once again, you all can go to www.lalique.com and check out all of these fragrances. You may also be able to find these on uh, Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, or whatever website you use if you use one of those. Uh, one more shout out to Vlatko, uh, Sirapun, Artours, and Bozina, who work at the Burlington Arcade Lalique Boutique in London. So shout out to you all for that. Um, if I missed anything, I'm pretty sure Martin will hit me up and let me know, and I'll fix it in the future. But thank you once again, Martin Hopley. Salute. I'm out, y'all. Here is to smelling great. Peace, y'all.